We have successfully paired the Evon router with our cloud account, and we can see the status in the eCatcher program as online. The modem is therefore successfully connected to the cloud. Now the last step remains, which is the configuration of the ACO Netlink programming adapter for Compact, so that we can connect to the MPI port through it of the PSC7300 system and not have to change the hardware in it. On the router within the LAN range, we have this IP address 192.68.4.10 and our Netlink converter has 192.168.4.49. Let's go ahead and copy this address now. Let's go into the router details. And here, when we reach it, we have LAN and firewall here. We have configure LAN devices and firewall here. So we will add a new device that is behind the router. Add LAN device. We will name it Akon. Netlink for a compact. And its IP address will be 122.104.49, and that's it. We can also note that we have, for example, S7300 here, 76766767676767666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666
We now click on the icon or button search for the available devices and we should find the PLC that is currently connected to which we are connected. That's right. The MPI address number two has appeared. In this section, we can clearly and easily observe the detailed content of the program. And subsequently, we can confidently begin to start working with the program. For a brief and quick demonstration that we are online, let's go online. We are now actually online connected. We are on PLC E7 300. And in this way, we can also connect to E7400 to the MPI port or Profibus port without needing to change the hardware configuration inside the PLC. Let's proceed close step 7 and terminate the connection with the router. So it's done. We have successfully managed the configuration of the Evon Flexi 205 router the ACO Netlink Pro Compact Programming Adapter, and the Talk2M cloud service. Now let's take a look at how the second and every subsequent remote connection will proceed. My laptop is now connected only to the internet. Additionally, wirelessly, I will launch the eCatcher program, which is a VPN client for the Talk2M cloud service. I will log into my account. And in it, I should find my one even Flexi 205 router. I select it like this and click on connect. A secure VPN tunnel is currently being established between me and the remote router. Once this is completed, I will be able to remotely access both the router and the device I have configured there. One of them is the Netlink programming adapter at the address 192.168.449. I already have it pre-configured in Simatic Manager, so I just open Simatic Manager and let it search for available stations on the MPA network. So, as you can see, I found one address, one station at address MPI2, and if we go into details, it's a PLC Simatic E7300. I believe it's 3R15, as it should be. And now, E317, and now I can start programming. Repair the system, make a backup, or work remotely in the S7300 program in any way. After finishing my work, I close everything and disconnect. I have a disconnect, and I disconnect from the router and close eCatcher. So that's it. We performed a remote restart and the F1 Flexi 205 router should now have the new address 172.16.810, which is an address within the range we need, allowing us to actually connect to the S7 1500 control system. Before we do that, it is necessary to register this system in the eCatcher program. So, we select Yvonne from the list of available options. Click on the Properties button to open the Settings menu, and then click on the Configure LAN Devices and Firewall button to proceed with adding a new device to the network. We will name this new device S7-1500 for easy identification. Its IP address will be this one, which is unique to ensure there are no conflicts with other devices on the network, and we can also enable access to it through the M2 web portal, as well as to its web server, which the S7 1500 actually has. In order to do this easily and efficiently, let's click OK. Keep the security set to high, which allows PLC discovery, something we need to see, so we can find devices on the network. We have OK. We return back to Evan, and now let's try to make the first connection. I connect with Yvonne, creating a VPN tunnel. Excellent. We see that the internet address of the router is what we needed, 168.10. And our PLC system has 188.159. Where's Artisms?
If I click on the link now, at this moment, I ought to reach the web server of our 15th device. And that's indeed correct. You can see that I am successfully remotely connected to the S7 1500 system. Great. So now let's open the TIA portal. And we have two options to access the program. The first option, as I mentioned earlier, is the discovery mode, which allows users to explore the program's features without needing the original project loaded. So without having the original project loaded now, I will use the discovery function to demonstrate its capabilities. This function is incredibly useful for understanding the program's potential. That's awesome. We click on project view. We click on the devices item and then proceed to click on the online access item. This action will provide us with a comprehensive list of all the communication interfaces that are currently active and operational on the computer system. And since we are connecting to a VPN network using the Talk2M solution, it typically uses an adapter called uh, Tab Windows Adapter uh, V9. Let's go everyone. Let's proceed. We expand it. And here we have update accessible devices. And if everything is in order, the PLC systems available on the network will be displayed here. That's right. Fox and OPC PLC, we have it here. I'll expand it as well. So online diagnostics, we are online in the processor. And if you want to see what happen, we go to the diagnostics buffer. And there we see the events that occurred in the PLC. So that's one option. The second option is to open a clean TIA portal again. And in it, the originally planned comprehensive project. So we have a list of projects. The first one is the one I need. I select it. We open it in the TIA portal and try to go online. Now let us proceed to the open project view interface. This is where we can manage our projects. Excellent. We open PLC Fox and OPC, which is a powerful tool for automation and control systems. We go to the program block section where all the essential functions are organized. We have block one, which contains the main logic for our operations. We open block one and we can go online, for example, to monitor and adjust parameters in real time. If everything is set correctly, we are now connected live to the S7 1500 control system project via remote access. Using even Flexi 205 industrial routers, we simply turn it off and just to ensure that it is completely off, we then close it and ensure it is fully closed. And log out of our VPN. That's all. With this, we have completed the demonstration of the remote connection to the S715Z system.